A hidden surprise on this otherwise rugged coast is the delightful beach at Porth Kernel. With its graceful arc and golden sand, it seems to have been imported from some faraway tropical paradise. In fact, if you try hard to forget you're at such a northern latitude and pretend the water isn't so cold, you could swear you're in the French Riviera. It's a hit with both parents savoring a hard-earned break and their frolicking children enjoying the surf. But running below the sand, unnoticed by these holiday makers, is a historic cable. It leads to a fascinating museum all about the telegraph. Porth Kernel was strategic for its telegraph station, the largest in the world back in the 1920s. The British ruled a global empire and needed a way to communicate with its far-flung colonies. It developed a way to send Morse code messages through cables across the seas. Exhibits of early teletype machines explain these significant technological strides in what's nicknamed the Victorian Internet. This is really important. In 1869, it took six weeks to get a message from here to India. Then, after they laid the cables in 1870, it took nine minutes. Eventually, 180,000 miles of cable like this was laid on ocean floors across the planet, and this little port was its hub. But today, Porth Kernow's big draw is a dramatic open-air theater. The Minak Theater is carved out of a rocky cliff and gorgeously landscaped. Built in the 1930s by the visionary theater lover Rowena Cade, its stage is perched hundreds of feet over the sea. A visit by day lets you relax in the garden-like setting, with its exotic plants thriving in the subtropical climate. If the weather's fine, grab a grassy seat and go English. Enjoy a cream tea, picnic style. Well, you've obviously got your jam on first, and you've got to put the cream on the top when you're in Cornwall. It's a lot of cream. Oh, yeah. Just a little dollop on the top like that. <laughs> That's exactly how you're supposed to That's have it. That's how you do it. Yeah. You are one of my favorite guides. <laughs> I'm going to finish this one off. Mmm. You can watch the seabirds. Gannets glide looking for a fresh fish lunch. When they spot one, they dive for it and hit the water at 60 miles an hour. I'm staying for tonight's performance. Throughout the season, theater lovers enjoy inexpensive plays in this unforgettable setting. 